Hello and welcome back to Health Foundations number five, proper rest and sleep protocols. So today we're going to talk about the amount of sleep a person needs and how it varies definitely from person to person. So the average adult needs between seven and nine hours per night of sleep, while children definitely need more, that's obvious. But I do want to bring our attention to school age children because they need, de they need between nine and 11 hours of sleep. And between all the after school activities and sports and homework, they might be missing a critical window and they, it's really critically important that they do sleep. So they need between nine and 11 hours of sleep. Also, when we're not sleeping enough and we're sleep deprived, obviously it alters the mood, the cognitive function, and the automatic nervous system. In addition, it increases cortisol and glucose and it affects the thyroid and the appetite regulator. So you might be craving carbs. You might've experienced that. I'm sure you have, we all have. When we're tired, we crave carbs. So just paying attention to that. And we heal when we sleep. So we really need a good night's sleep. It's really important. Also waking at certain times of the night could be very telling. So do you wake from one to 3 a.m. or from three to 5 a.m.? That might be your body trying to tell you that a specific organ system needs some support. So sleep protocols, uh, and a lot of these are reminders. They very well could be reminders to you, but it's worth listening to and considering. So instead of us just throwing ourselves into bed at the end of the night, collapsing face first, um, maybe preparing the body, you know, and getting into getting your body ready for a good night's sleep would be time well spent so that your natural circadian rhythm is ignited and and the way it's intended to be. And so some of the obvious things. So shut your TV off, shut your cell phone off. Why? Because of the blue light, it disrupts the circadian rhythm. We all know that. Do we do it? Maybe, maybe not, but it's something definitely to consider. Keeping your phone out of your room is something that, you know, I know my family does. Um, sleep in a cool room, minimize distractions to allow for REM cycles to take place. It's really needed because it's the restorative sleep that you need. And then watching the sun rise and the same sun set, earthing, meaning going outside barefoot and, and feeling the earth's frequencies and to, that, that are very grounding, their grounding frequencies, um, herbal support and supportive supplements, they're great and I, I love them. However, I do want to just mention that it's important to understand the root cause that needs to be tended to. So keeping that in mind. And eat earlier in the evening. Sleep on an empty stomach. It allows you to have a much better night's sleep. And relax, which is easier said than done. So we're all busy. But maybe maybe a couple times a week, you know, take an Epsom salt bath. Read, pray, just give it a try. And I hope that you have a great night's sleep tonight. Um, see you next week for the sixth foundation of health. And please like, subscribe, and share. Be well.